Samsung's AirPods. I mean, Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. These are Samsung's latest and greatest earbuds, but there's a huge problem with these types of devices. They're both expensive and typically unrepairable. Most of these end up in landfills once the battery inevitably dies. But the last generation of Samsung Buds were surprisingly repairable, according to iFixit. Will these be the same? I hope so. There they are, the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. This design is unlike anything we've ever seen before. Um, seriously though, it's actually a pretty cool design with the light bar here. I do like it and I do think that this is the superior design when it comes to earbuds. However, it seems to be the least repairable design or so we've experienced before with these earbuds. We're going to start off by tearing down the actual case first and seeing how easy the battery is to replace, among other components, <clears throat> USB-C. And after that, we're going to be tearing down the actual buds themselves. And because these look so much like AirPods, well, we actually have a clamp here designed to replace AirPod batteries. Only AirPods, but obviously this has a similar design, so it might just work. We'll find out if it does later. Let's start off with this case. By the way, um, this is from wearing my Apple Watch too much. I don't have a disease. I have actually replaced AirPod batteries before, the case to be exact, and this part is glued down with some insane glue. I don't know what they used. Let's hope Samsung didn't make the same mistakes that Apple made. And because there's this plastic piece here, I think I can honestly just pop it up. So we're gonna go ahead and just start prying in between the actual case and this middle plastic part and see what happens. Okay, that was extremely easy, not difficult at all. Let's see what comes out when I pull up on, whoa. Samsung, you outdid yourself. This is beautiful. On the back over here, we have the wireless charging coil and it does seem to be attached to what appears to be the battery. However, there's a little clip under here and if I'm correct, you could probably just unclip this and that just clipped right off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and separate the wireless chart. Ooh, look how easy that came off. So we could just put this aside and now we can actually unclip this fully. And there it is, and now we can see the battery. That was really easy, although we still can't disconnect it just yet. So the battery is a 500 milliamp hour battery and uh, it's a small guy. It was extremely easy to remove this plastic piece from the actual Samsung Buds 3 Pro. Something that does concern me is the water resistance. Because it was so easy to open this up, is it really gonna be that water resistant? And also, how easy is it to fix the USB-C port? Can we just disconnect it and remove it? Let's find out. So it looks like we have a bunch of Phillips screws. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew every screw we can see. These top screws here seem to be responsible for holding in the cap. So once I unscrew them, the cap might just come off. The screws all seem to be the same size as well, which makes this even more repairable. Oh. And there we go, we just removed the cap. Obviously this is responsible for charging the AirPods. I mean the Buds 3 Pro. <laughs> And it looks like the USB-C port is actually soldered onto the board. AirPods don't have a soldered port onto the board, but obviously getting to the port is near impossible. At least you can get to the port, but you will have to know how to solder to remove this and reconnect it. Before we go any further, I don't know if you guys can see what I see, but I'm seeing a glare on the actual board. What that glare is, we pull out our UV light, check that out. So that is a coating, and that coating is responsible for water resistance. It's supposed to prevent water from making contact with the board, which is how this has its IP57 rating. We still need to disconnect the battery. We haven't done that yet. We have that unscrewed, and whoa, okay. It's as easy as that. You can just remove the board. There's no connector here, so you can literally take your Jimmy tool pry under the battery, pop it out, and then take a spudger and just pry over here. And just like that, we have the battery removed. Compared to the AirPods, these are extremely repairable minus the USB-C port. We managed to tear them down and put them back together with absolutely no damage. We'll pull out the actual bud and check this out. Just like the AirPod Pro, these have a seam right over here. 
so they probably open pretty much the same exact way as the AirPod Pros. Unfortunately, the AirPod Pros are extremely difficult to do any repairs on, and uh, I'm honestly not expecting anything different from these. We'll go ahead and grab our AirPod clamp. Let's see if this fits. No way. Bruh. It fits, it fits perfectly. So what we would do with AirPods is basically take our heat gun, turn it on, set it to airflow three at 100 degrees. And now the clamp pretty much does most of the work for us in this process. We basically just have to heat around the actual seam, trying to loosen up that adhesive that's keeping these together. We're just gonna go back and forth with the heat gun, making sure we don't stay on one area for too long because if we do, well, we will burn the Buds 3 Pro. Now that things are heating up a little bit, we're gonna push on the stem, push up very gently. I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit because it's taking a little longer than AirPods would. We'll put it to 120. So I did a few things and then I went back to the heat just at 2.30 this time. And uh, well, you can see it is coming up. So it does seem to open the same way that AirPods Pros do. Now we can take a look at the actual Buds 3. And check that out. We have the Buds 3 Pro open and just like the AirPods, there is a connector over here to the main speaker and the battery. However, unlike the AirPods, we can just kind of clip this out and it's free. AirPod Pros uh, don't unclip that easily. They're very difficult. But the thing we most commonly need repaired on these would be the battery. And to do that, we're gonna desolder it. Just like the AirPod Pros, there's the positive and negative terminals over here and they're covered by a bit of a protective layer, likely for waterproofing. Let's see if this is as easy as it looks. We'll pull out our soldering iron and we're also going to grab a spudger so we can push the flex cable out of the way once it's desoldered. We got the first terminal desoldered and we have the second terminal desoldered. Now, if we're lucky, we should be able to just pry up and there it is. That's the Galaxy Buds Pro battery removed. This battery looks pretty similar to the AirPod Pro battery. This did not go the way I thought it would at all. Removing the battery on the Buds 3 Pro was a little bit difficult because obviously it's a very compact device, but this is nowhere near as difficult as it is to remove the battery on the AirPods Pro. This is actually something I could see stores offering as a service in the future. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. As for the case, well, just look at it. This is extremely repairable. The battery is very accessible and you can remove this whole part without actually damaging the housing of the case at all. The board is extremely accessible. You just have to remove a few screws. The only thing that kind of sucks is the fact that the USB-C port is soldered to the board, but I mean, you can always get that re-soldered. It's not a huge deal. All in all, these are so much more repairable than AirPod Pros. Sure, they may look like them, but they definitely don't repair like them. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.